What's up everyone? So it's time for another zero to 60 time. Uh, I have ran it myself already because uh, I wanted to know out of curiosity. Um, it was much cooler the day that I ran it. Um, so I'd like to see those times. Um, I ran it today <laughs> and it's, it's probably twice the temperature today as it was when I ran it last time. Um, so if you saw the first video when it was basically stock head, uh, we ran it with the intake, the exhaust, uh, and nothing else. Uh, so I wanted to run it to show you guys the difference of the gearing. Uh, however, with the heat, um, the intake air temps are so much higher that uh, it, it's actually running about the same. Uh, but I'll let you see, um, like I've got a, uh, the, all the records on here of what it did previously. So I'll let you see that uh, and I'll probably come back this evening uh, and I'll run it again to see how close I can get to this time. Um, because I didn't do it with the programming, uh, with the like with the tune on the, the programmer. Uh, and I want to do that to see if there's a difference there. Um, but I'll turn it around and I'll let you guys see the difference here of uh, before the gearing and then after the gearing. So you can see here, uh, so these are my records so far. So we've got zero to 60 time. Um, so the stock time before the gearing was a 14.3. So the gearing difference alone um, in similar temperatures um, dropped almost a second off of that. We went to the 13.4 the seconds, zero to 60. Uh, I also ran a quarter mile time when I was here last time. Um, curiosity as well. Also, uh, a lot more people are familiar with quarter mile times as opposed to zero to 60 times to get kind of an idea of how fast something is. Um, so that's the quarter mile time right there. 19.5 seconds, which is slow, obviously, but it's not terrible. Uh, I mean, I've seen Honda Civics and uh, things like that running that time or even slower than that time in the quarter mile at this elevation at my local racetrack uh, when it was open. So uh, not terrible. Uh, definitely a good increase on gearing there to go to the from the 14.3 to 13.4. But um, as I said, with the temperature difference with the heat of today, uh, it's actually kind of crazy how much of a difference that makes. So we'll come back this evening and see if we can either match or get close to that 13.4. We'll load the program on the tuner and see what that does for us. that 13.4 that I had, I had previously gotten when it was much cooler. Uh, even, you know, it's evening now, but even now it's still 68 degrees. Um, when I had ran that 13.4, it was probably 40 or 50 degrees. Um, and when I had run the original 14, uh, whatever it was, 14.3, it was much cooler. It was it was definitely in the 40s. So this is going to give us a closer. We'll go with the 13.9. We'll just say that's our improvement. So we're ending this on off in the garage because I've got more projects to work on and more content coming. So hopefully you guys keep an eye out. We got some more performance parts coming up really soon for the Jeep, so we can get some better zero to 60 times. I also did run back to back with the tuner. So I actually loaded the tune and I was gonna let you guys see that too, but it ran exactly the same time. So I don't know why, 
Uh, maybe we'll see more of an improvement as the Jeep is faster itself. Maybe it's just too slow. <laughs> And the tune is just can't just can't do anything with it. Um, we'll see. We'll take it off and on a couple times as we progress. We'll see. So give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one.